Hey everyone, welcome back. My name's Silver, and this is my channel. So guys, um, as you may have noticed, there wasn't a video last night. Sla yeah, last night. To sort of talk about the episode of what happened in Cardfight Vanguard. And the reason for that is, as well, I just, I was out of town, so I couldn't record it. But that's why I'm here now, to record it with you guys, so you guys can see it. And maybe enjoy what I'm showing, and I'm trying to edit my screen at the same time here. Sorry, guys. I forgot to do this beforehand. I don't know why I unedited it, but I did. So give me one second to make that a bit longer. Bring it down a bit. No, I want it right there. There we go. Perfect. All right. So moving on in the story. So guys, this week we, again, if you haven't seen this episode, link in the description below as always. Go check it out. Come back to this. So it's this year's Christmas episode. I don't know why we did it so early. We were, you know, Christmas right around the corner. We could have done it next week. But besides the point. So we're having a little Christmas party. Uh, we get news that they're trying to investigate. Um, obviously the apostles and what's going on. They find their old house. They don't find them. They just see a newspaper with a Christmas tree. We move on. We get a flashback of... Um, Tokoha's brother giving Abuki a Santa suit to go to the Christmas party that the group is throwing for all their friends. Yay, Abuki Santa. Let's see some fan art of that, please. And Aichi's here because Aichi's part of the season for whatever odd reason. He hasn't been a part of GE since, but now he's a part of it. Um, We get we have the screenshot here. I don't know why, but we have it because um, evil apostles doing evil apostle things. They're talking at a train station right now. Um... They're talking about how once Ibuki has been beaten, that everything will fall into place for their unit. Um, nothing really too fancy here. I was hoping to maybe see something fancy dancy, but didn't. Um, maybe I'll plus, maybe I'll take it into Photoshop, mess around with the lighting, see if that reveals anything. Sometimes shows do that or games, but I don't think it will, just because card fight is weird like that and doesn't like to leave hidden Easter eggs. And being that this is not the original photo or video. Or anything at all. I don't assume I could find it like that in this. But it's always worth the attempt. I'll even mess around with the video once I download it. Moving on. Um, we got this wonderful handsome guy that's blurry. Because um, milliseconds of timing I can't get down. Um, this guy is looking for the United Sanctuary Zeroth Dragon. He's searching for a compatible person. So this only leads to the theory that um, Kenzaki. Not, is that Kenzaki? Um, Tayo Chrono. Kenzaki, yeah, Kenzaki will be um, the Xeroth Dragon's uh, wielder, um, being that they haven't found someone yet, and that um, now that you have two Xeroth Dragons out of the way, well, one and Dark Darkface Grandora out. So, we have them talking about their Christmas party sign, and how these two saw something that Chrono doesn't remember. And it's kind of interesting. Again, I still think everyone is right that he will be bad guy or he will be bad guy. I'm actually leaning towards Tayo because Tayo has had an evil past before. Well, I wouldn't say evil, but misguided. So it would be funny to see him be the Xeroth Dragon Wielder and evil Garmore. But it makes more sense. According to the lore, he, his avatar went insane. So I think it's a good possibility that he might go insane to fight his brother. Um, we get this flashback like i was talking about earlier with uh tayo and kenzaki seeing this where there's this brilliant light shining out of chrono's hand and into oblivion to release evilness um and then we get to see a group of the teams together so we get to see uh Shion's team Shion's still alive we get to see jamie's flowers or almost all of jamie's flowers we get tokoha and her friend that is adorable that i ship with chrono please please you could do so much better than chrono uh, we have Jamie, the over-the-top Aqua Force player. He's kind of cool. But yeah, he says, Jamie is here, f flanked by two beautiful flowers, which is true. Um, this is, I don't know why I had this, and this is actually meant to be for my Christmas thumbnail. Sneak peek. wonder what I could be doing with this Christmas thumbnail. Oh boy, oh boy. I don't know myself yet. But we have two adorable shop cats. I love these shop cats. They're so adorable. I think I'm going to print this and hang this on my wall. All right. So we get we get our friends back from the previous two episodes. That's who this party's for, as always. Uh, we get a better screenshot of them here talking. 
and yeah, overall it's kind of fun. Um, we get them cheering to each other, congratulating on their hard work. I thought it was nice. I like the juice. It looks tasty. This week's episode is brought to you by Extreme. Um, so we're moving along again. I don't know why Aichi's here. He hasn't been a part of G since last season, so I don't know why he should still be a part of it this season. He's betrayed us all. Go away, Aichi. Uh, we get Mizaki and Kamui here giving Aichi his Christmas slash souvenir from Hong Kong. So he's got a Christmas gift and a souvenir. He has a laptop here with, I don't know, laptop things on it, I guess. Um, yeah, so they're talking about their things and how fun they're having. All that fun stuff. Um, and then we move along to the, um, to the so far filler parts of this episode where they're all going to have card fights. And I, I would like to really see each and individual of these matchups. Like, if Bushiro could, like, just print out, like, Christmas special episodes of each and individual card fight, that would be awesome. Because I'd really like to see these two guys face off. I'd like to see them face off. Really like to see Shion versus him. Um, these two are dumber than a sack of bricks, to be fair, because they couldn't recognize Shin, of all people. And their matchup is a long overdue, I'd like to re-see. And I'd like to see how she pumbles her, or how she pumbles her. It would be an interesting. And then I guess these two are okay. I don't really expect too much from this fight, but I would like to see it anyways. Uh, we have two of our branch leaders and one of Jamie's flowers sitting off to the side. And yeah. You two should be fighting, you know, if you would, you know, if you just move them over and you put them here, you could have had them all fighting. Sorry, headphone users. But overall, this, so far the episode's been a filler, and then we get to the actual episode. Ibuki walking in the snow. Okay, guys, that's the end of the episode. That's where we left off. I'm just kidding. So we get Ibuki here standing in the snow. He's talking to Christopher. When this purple blackish lightning starts striking around him and he gets sucked up into a void, his stuff drops on the ground, it's kind of funny. It's... Um, so he gets sucked up into this room. It's not a great room. It's very bad and you'll see why. So this is where the actual episode starts and that's why I sort of rushed through the first seven minutes of this video with um short cheesy comments. So this is what I really wanted to break down. So overall we have evil bishop here evil god bishop gastiel and this is i'm a, this is his real name and he's here to do one thing and one thing only to hurt ibuki so um yeah this is this was going to be my thumbnail but it's not as you can tell maybe it is i don't know i haven't decided yet but this is a nice you know he summons the table forth and they're in this chain room and they stand their new units we have a new starter for um darky regulars and we have a not a new um, grade zero yet. So, Messiahs are playing against Dark Irregulars. Uh, we get to see our first grade two, which is Bileful. Re 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 I can't read tonight. I'm tired. I'm sorry, guys. But yeah, so he attacks the Vanguard, and we find out that this room is designed to curse Messiah. Yeah, so every time every time Ibuki takes a damage, it's cursing Messiah to be weaker. So if he takes six damage and loses the game, it will be enough for the people on planet Kray to kill off the Harmonic Messiah. So that's been the plan the entire time. As you take damage, your life will wither away. So he will die if he loses the scene. Like, it is not an option for him to lose. But you know, Chrono starts feeling this weird thing in his hand. Spoiler alert, the mark is still there. So yeah, he starts feeling weird and he's having a hard time playing the game. Then we get to see the new unit and boy does this art look amazing. Like I have two perspectives of this art and I just love it. I can't wait for this to be a card. Um, its skill is pretty good. It allows it to it allows shenanigans to go off. Um I can't remember exactly. He takes a second damage. Yeah, we have another picture of um them you know dying essentially card fight you've gone dark on us why so we also have a new messiah ideal ego messiah it's no longer an altar it's an ideal the ideal messiah is here he his own stride skill if i remember correctly is to drop a card from hand walk it and do shenanigans and eventually draw two cards we also have a new genesis dragon genesis dragon integral messiah which this card art just looks amazing that's i don't know what that is though that's not cray to my knowledge or, or earth 
And this is either Cray or Earth. I really can't tell. I never, They look so similar. I think this is Earth just by its look, and this is just undefined. But the art just looks amazing for this card. So he draws one card off of skill. Uh, I gave an extra critical. I was just showing this is a new Grey 2 Messiah we have and more art forward and how much power this thing gained. It, go, it has a really good skill. And I'll probably be covering that in a later video this week. Um, we're sort of over time already. We have more art. Um, still don't know what that is. And then we have the new Dark Irregular Stride that's come out. One who hunts souls, Balahem. Which his skill is pretty good. Um, I didn't get too much on it. It'll He essentially soul charged four right away. Like this thing is powerful. Abuki, this was meant to be deleted. This is what I originally wanted. So this is what his attack looks like. And I just wanted to short, short, sort of show off the card art because, like I said, this card is broken. In this turn, on his first stride, he got up to 13 cards in his soul by soul charging. And a lot of units have over abundance of power. This is three criticals. His Vanguard was at 40k plus. His Rearguard was at it. And then Ibuki is basically dying. He's at five damage. I meant to take a picture of that. I wanted to sh sort of show the field so you guys could see the card art that was new or what you could. Um, yeah, so we have some new cards. It looks like, uh, the Messiah skill's a flip. It looks like this skill might be a flip. Ibuki is struggling at this point to survive. Um, Chrono hops in and vanishes as Tayo and Kanzaki are just standing there, like, dumbfounded. The mark on his hand shows up, and Chrono comes in to save the day. And it looks like in next episode, Chrono will be fighting as a Messiah player. And guys, that was episode 11. So guys, again, I'm really sorry that I wasn't able to do it Saturday night, but I got it done tonight. It's uploading now as I'm about to go play some Fortnite with friends. But this is the type of stuff that happens when you are living a life. If you guys like it, please leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. And guys, I don't know how many up, how many views we got on the previous video. I'm going to double check really quickly as I talk and wrap this up. But I know it was quite a bit. And if we can reach 500 views by next week, by this time next week, that would be awesome. We got up to 474 views again. So it seems like we have a consistent amount of views each week about being 400. Guys, that makes me really happy. I like doing this, and I'm going to keep on doing it. But until next time, guys, I've been Silver. I'll see you all later.